Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. As you can see here, I have a K-Series engine. This is actually a K24A out of a TSX, and this happens to be the JDM variant. So this engine is in extremely good condition. It's a low mileage engine. As you can see, all the pulleys pretty much look like new. It actually still has a Honda oil filter on the back. But even though it's a low mileage engine, I probably could bolt it in the car right now. I do want to do a few mods to it first. So I'm going to go over those mods and then I'm going to break this engine down and start installing them. So the first mod is a 45 degree cam gear. So as you can see, I got this gear from Drag Cartel. They marked it 45 degrees. And this is the VTC gear. So for those of you that don't know, this car has a variable intake gear on it. And these engines happen to only allow 25 degrees of variable timing. So once you stick a cold air intake on it and an aftermarket header, the engine really demands more timing to make maximum power. So I'm going with a 45 degree um, just to ensure that I don't have any interference in the engine. You can go up to 50 degree, but for this engine, I've seen that 45 is really the way to go. The next thing I'm going to do to this engine is install a K-tuned timing chain tensioner. So the timing chain tensioner is actually the only weak link in this engine from what I found. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace it just for some extra insurance. The next thing, which is pretty cool, is a K20A2 oil pump. Now the oil pump in this engine actually has two large balance shafts inside of it. And not only do they rob horsepower, but they actually prevent the engine from revving past 7,000 or so RPM. So the K20A2 oil pump is a great upgrade. It reduces the weight on your rotating assembly, allows you to rev much higher. And it's something that you should definitely do these engines if you have it out of the car. The last thing is quite small. It's just a Honda intake manifold gasket. Um, just goes in between the manifold and the head. I've seen that it can, you know, give you an extra five, four or five horsepower on maybe on a hot day or something like that. But while the engine's out, it's a cheap mod to do. So I figured I would just take care of it. Um, so that pretty much wraps up what I'm going to do this engine. Right now I'm going to take a short break and then I'm just going to break it all down. Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to show real quick. The TSX actually has a drive-by wire throttle body. So right here I have this 2005 Accord throttle body. Uh, that's a little... So here we go, this is the JDM alternator. And if I didn't show you guys already, here's a good look at the difference between the USDM. Get this, these are heavy. Here's a good look at the difference between the JDM and the USDM alternator. The mounts are completely different between the two. So if you're running the JDM alternator and your alternator fails at any time, it's going to be hard to source that JDM part. So I actually have a 2005 Accord water, pu water pump housing right here. And as you can see, the mounts are totally different to accommodate the USDM alternator. 
So that just about sums it up. We got the engine taken apart where we needed to be. Now we can install the cam gear, tensioner. Still have to get the oil pump off. Had a fair amount of trouble um, getting these Honda bonded parts off. I just am so careful with this aluminum. I don't want to chip it, bend it. It's so soft. If you try to pry it with any force, you'll bend it, chip it right up. So I'm going to probably take a break and take that oil pan off when I get around to doing the oil pump. So in the next video, probably going to install the 45 degree VTC gear. I'll talk a little bit more about how beneficial it is. Honda has a really good article where they did a test between a funny 25 degree and a 45 degree cam gear. So see you guys in the next video.